Hey guys, it's Lou from Forbidden here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to remove the main pivot. Um, you'll see that I have already removed the idler pulley here, and that the head of the shaft is a non-tool interface, which means we are gonna be working on the non-drive side. So the tools that you're gonna to need today are gonna to be a torque wrench, a 24 mil wrench, a 10 mil Allen key, and a five mil Allen key. So to start, we're gonna be taking the locking cover off with the five mil. And then you can just pop the cap off. So we're gonna use our 24 mil wrench on the nut and we're gonna put the 10 mil Allen key into the shaft. And then we're gonna spin the Allen key clockwise. So once you have the nut off, you're just gonna push the shaft through and that's how you remove the main pivot. Uh, once you have it off, you're gonna to wanna to check the two spacers in between the front and rear triangle. And you're gonna to wanna to check your bearing life to make sure everything's looking good. And uh, from there, I'm gonna show you how to put it all back together. So we're just gonna lightly thread the nut on. And then I'm gonna grab my 24 mil again to hold onto the nut. And I'm gonna put the 10 mil Allen key back in. So once we've got the shaft snug into the nut, we're gonna grab our torque wrench set to 22 Newton meters and we're gonna tighten it down. Once we get that all tightened up, we're just gonna cycle the rear end and make sure that the main pivot feels smooth. So as you may have realized by now, a 24 mil wrench and a 10 mil and Allen key aren't really tools that you'll be carrying on your ride. So that's why on this locking cover, we have a keyed center and teeth that bite into the nut. And if you're riding with your cover on, it's pretty much impossible that your main pivot's gonna come loose. Um, but with these features, you may notice that when you're going to put the cover back on, it doesn't quite fit on right. Um, and all you kind of have to do is just turn it around until you get the right combination of fit and it just pops on like that. So once we've got the cover on there, we're gonna grab our screw and our five mil and just put that in. And using our torque wrench set to eight newton meters, we're just gonna give this the final tighten. So there you have it. That's how you remove and reinstall your main pivot. Uh, all the information is listed down below just in case you missed something I said. And if you run into any issues during this, please don't hesitate to reach out and we'd be happy to help.